folks, Dylan Kennison from the Six Hour Academy here on our new indoor rifle range. Uh, today I just want to talk a little bit about how we support the rifle during zeroing processes or uh, having to take a, a more stable shot and more importantly where we actually rest the barrel and on what we rest the barrel. So up here I got this MCX. I'm going to shoot a couple shots here during the zeroing process and I'm going to use the handguard here to actually rest the gun. So I'll shoot a couple shots. And then I'm actually going to back up and rest the barrel. And what I want you to see is downrange, we'll check the target after. And I think you're going to see quite a bit of difference there uh, from two points of support on the gun itself. So let's try it out. All right, so the first three rounds that I shot, I was using the handguard here to rest the gun and stabilize the front of the gun for more support downrange. The uh, second batch of fire was actually used as resting the barrel, and I think you can notice downrange that that second volley of three is a little bit higher. So what you need to know is whether you're hunting, whether you're uh, sport shooting, uh, zeroing the rifle, whatever the case may be, you got to make sure that when you shoot, you want to make sure the handguard is actually resting on whatever it is that you're trying to sport off of and not the barrel itself because you will mess with the harmonics. For more information on this, uh, visit SigsHowerAcademy.com, take some classes, and get down reach.